I will have to take these down, but we'll get to that in a second. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, guys. So, this is how much progress I have made so far. I just gotta. I use tape. So let me show y'all what it's supposed to look like. But I'm not gonna put up the Christmas tree on here because my Christmas tree will already be here. I'm just gonna put up the fireplace. This is the finished result. Um, I took my books and I'm just, uh, I took my little book cart, whatever, and I decided to make it like a little area where they can sit down so that they can take pictures and stuff. And I just have to cut that real quick. But yeah, guys. So I'm about to go put my uh, camera on the charger real quick. And for right now, I'm about to put this up over here and then we are going to go from there. Um, yeah, I'm excited to be honest. Yeah, my kids are gonna have a grand time tomorrow and I'm gonna have a grand time with them and we're gonna have some fun. I'm pretty excited, it's a pajama party uh, slash date night. So instead of tomorrow, Saturday, um, and instead of doing a regular uh, party during daycare hours, I decided to uh, say thank you to my parents and give them a gift. The gift is they get to drop the kids off for four hours from four to eight, and they get to do whatever they wanna do, and they'll take back for eight, uh, while I have the daycare party. Uh, because it's COVID, they still can't come in, so it'll just be me with the kids, and we'll just be having fun. And yeah, that's what I'm doing. I decided to do that, and I'm pretty excited. I think I'm more excited than the kids and the parents. Like, I'm pretty excited about this party. But yeah, I just wanted to come on here real quick and show you guys the updates to the daycare. I bought this from the Party City. It was like $20, maybe $30, I can't remember. But it was well worth it because this sets off the Christmas the Christmas in here, being that my fireplace is actually covered by that and will be covered by the table next. So I just set up this table. I put the um, the table up, the tablecloth, and then these little uh, cotton candy sampler things. So I went run to Walmart really quick. I am super tired, y'all. I went to run to Walmart really quick and I bought a Walmart and Dollar Tree and I bought a few things. Um, I got a table. So just like a regular white table under here. And then I have um, cotton candy. I'm glad I did because you can see my fireplace and I don't like that. So I am gonna put this up here so it can cover that. And I think that that works just fine. And now I'm just about to finish setting up the rest of the um, Let's turn my light on. So these, I will be putting the parents' Oreo balls in here. So the parents will have Oreo balls as a gift and then also they will have the candy cane um, with the chocolate as a gift. So I have the game pin the nose on the snowman and then 
I have this little Santa cookie toss thing where you toss the cookies in his mouth, obviously. Um, over here, I have the table. I put that table in here as well. And then I just have all the other little stuff that we're gonna do, like make um, antlers and then stockings. And I got the stockings so we might not get to that game. And here goes the art gallery and my table. I bought these from Hobby Lobby for five dollars, but then I went to Walmart and these were I think like eleven dollars for twenty-four cookies, and it comes with all of them. And then I also purchased some more icing, some cookie icing, so because it might be easier for my babies. Um, versus, whoops, these things. Okay, my lovely people, it is currently 12.24 in the morning and I'm basically done. Um, I was just sitting here watching Creed, to be honest. Uh -huh. I went to get some more ink because I still have to do the reindeer stuff and then um, a little message to the parents or whatever. That won't take me long. I'm hoping these Oreo balls won't take me that long. Um, yeah, and then I, I didn't have enough time to like go to stores and look for the kids' gifts. Like I had started with those gifts over there. It's, it's a doll and then um, a little set. I think I'm just gonna keep that for the daycare and I decided to go ahead and get the kids' books instead. So, one thing about my kids, they love reading time like they love when it's time to sit down and read a book all of them i decided to get them books instead of um toys because i couldn't decide on a toy like i don't know what they have at home and it was just i couldn't decide so i decided to just go ahead and get them books they might have it they might not it's a lot of books um So I decided that since this is my first year uh, having the Christmas party um, with the kids, I am gonna make some Oreo balls for the parents just to say thank you and I want to show you guys how to make them. So let's get started. Four things that you need um, to make the Oreo balls and like I said, I already started making some. I ran out so I have to go to the store and get some more. Ziploc bags for the reindeer food. This free printable on uh, the internet, and it's just um, a, rain, a reindeer tag, and it says "Sparkle, sprinkle on the lawn at night. The moon will make it sparkle bright." Santa's reindeer fly and roam. This will help them. This will help guide them to your home. So, and I have the little snack size um, Ziploc bags. So yeah, we're about to do this real quick, and then. Uh, I'm done with my reindeer food. I'm super excited for this. And then um, at three o'clock, I'll start prepping um, different stations and stuff. But yeah, we're doing pretty good so far. So far, so good. So far, so good. So I let these chill for about 30 minutes and now I'm going to basically uh, dip these in this chocolate and then drizzle them. Um, put them back in the freezer and then when it's time for the kids to go, put them in these bags, tie it and send it on its way. 
do like a messy version of the finish touch for the um, Oreo balls. It's currently 241, so I'm running super, super behind. I still need to wash dishes, empty out the extra chocolate, and put some things upstairs that don't belong downstairs anymore. You know, <laughs> a little bit to do. However, I have an hour and 20 minutes to take a shower, throw on a wig, and put on my elf outfit with my little elf shoes. I'm so excited. Um, but yeah, let me just show you guys real quick. So this is whenever you first walk in. These are going home as gifts to the parents. Uh, they come in here in Christmas pajamas, so I have my Polaroid. I'm gonna take them some pictures and put it in there, and we are good to go. They are Oreo balls, so going in there, you're gonna see them in just a second.